Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam back with another NBA 2K20 build video. And in today's build video, I'm going over how to make the best perimeter lockdown build in the game with the most badges, the most attributes, and literally everything the best perimeter lock build in the entire game. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Don't forget to drop a like. Without further ado, let's get right back into it on the best perimeter lockdown build in NBA 2K20. Quick side note, this build can speed boost, so this build can ISO. But anyways guys, let's get right into it. So now the position is going to be a point guard for the perimeter lockdown. Hand, I always go righty. You can go lefty if you want to though. I prefer to go right-handed. Jersey number doesn't matter, 53 sounds fine. And now let's move on to choosing our skill breakdown, also known as the pie charts. Now for the pie chart, you wanna pick the sharp shooting and defensive pie chart, which is this one right here. As you guys can see, it is the green and red pie chart, one of the best pie charts in the game. Great defense, I always get Hall of Fame shooting badges and Hall of Fame defensive badges. And you can also speed boost on this build and finish pretty well at the rim. So we are gonna take the green and red pie chart right here. Now we are onto the physical profiles and for almost every single guard build in the game, I recommend you to pick the top physical profile. Look at the most speed and acceleration. This build is no different as always. You wanna get 91 speed and 89 acceleration. Definitely the best pie chart in the entire game. Make sure to pick the first pie chart, the agility pie chart, as I said, with 91 speed. Now let's move on to the potentials. For the close shot, we wanna put up to an 80 right here. Max driving layup and then max the driving dunk. Unfortunately, this player cannot get contact dunks. That is the one downside. You fall just short at the end of the build to get contact dunks, but you will still have five finishing badges, so it isn't that terrible. Now for the shooting, max mid range, max your three point shot, max free throw, and then max your post fade, but I'm gonna go down on the post fade because honestly guys, we don't need more than 16 shooting badges. This right here is gonna leave us room for four Hall of Fame shooting badges, which is all we need. So put your post fade at a 57, just like this. Max the first three in shooting and then put your post fade at a 57 for 16 shooting badges. Right now, five finishing and 16 shooting. Now for the playmaking, you wanna put the pass accuracy at 79, max your ball handle, and then put the post moves at 35. Just like this, we have 10 playmaking badges just like this. Trust me guys, this build can speed boost and 10 playmaking badges is plenty. You don't need much more than 10 playmaking badges to ISO effectively, so 10 is just fine, don't stress it. Now let's move on to the defensive badges, max perimeter defense, max lateral, max your steal, max your defensive rebounding, and then max the block. This build gets great defense all around, and as you guys can see, we get 21 defensive badges. Plus, we have good stats too, so our block is really high, our rebound is really high, and we can really, really guard the perimeter and get some easy plucks. This build is a much better defender than the two-way slashing playmaker because obviously you have a block stat now on the two-way slashing playmaker, you don't get a block stat and you get one more defensive badge. And I really like having that block stat there because if you have like a 40 block, you are not getting a block, even if you have Hall of Fame chance on artists. This is a very, very good defensive build for guarding one through three. These are the exact numbers you should have for the skill breakdown. Make sure to put them exactly like this. You should have five finishing badges, 16 shooting badges, 10 playmaking, and 21 defensive slash rebounding badges. Now, let's move on to the body shape. I usually always go burly, but I don't know. I don't really like going burly on guards anymore, so I'm just gonna go with defined. Obviously, guys, it's not affected gameplay. Don't worry about it. If you wanna go burly, you can. If you wanna go build, you can. I'm just gonna go defined for the sake of this video. Now for the height. We are gonna make him 6'5", the best height in my opinion for almost every single guard in the game. You will lose three ball handling, but don't worry, we will still be able to speed boost. And we don't lose any three point shot, which is great. And we get plus one the driving dunk. And at a max 99.9 overall player, that driving dunk will go to an 83. And that's one attribute off of contact dunks. It is so close to getting contact dunks, but unfortunately this player cannot get contact dunks. 6'5", you get a lot more defensive stats, plus 12 the block, so our block is gonna be very, very good. Just overall a great height. I highly recommend going 6'5 on this build. Now for the weight. Obviously, we are a point guard. We don't need all this weight. Minimize that weight down. We get plus two lateral quickness, which is great. And we get plus three acceleration, which is also very, very good. So as I said, guys, 175 pounds is the best way to go. Now for the wingspan. Here's where it gets interesting. I don't want to have minimum arms because we are a lockdown build. We have 21 defensive badges, but I also want to have good playmaking and good shooting. But instead, I'm going to go one tick up from the middle, so our wingspan should be 82.6 inches. We lose one three-point and one mid-range, but we do get one steal back. And overall, guys, I just think having a longer wingspan is way, way more beneficial than losing that one attribute of three-point shot in mid-range. You can still shoot very, very well with this build with 16 shooting badges and Hall of Fame shooting. And now we get the option of four different takeovers, lockdown takeover, 
sharpshooter takeover, playmaking takeover, and lastly, shot creating takeover. Now I highly recommend lockdown takeover. This takeover is absolutely overpowered. As I said, you have 21 defensive badges. You can clamp up anyone. I wouldn't recommend shot creator or playmaker, but I do think spot up shooter is an acceptable one to pick. But in my opinion, I think lockdown takeover is probably one of the best takeovers in the game. And sharp is a good option as well. You can't go wrong with sharp or lockdown takeover. I'm just gonna go lockdown takeover so we can get some crazy, crazy clamps on people. And as you guys can see, we've made the perimeter lockdown build a very very popular build right now everyone seems to be making these perimeter lockdown builds it can really do it all guys it can really do it all you can speed boost you can shoot really well you can play great defense and you can even drive a little bit too it is similar to dejounte murray steve francis and stephen curry i mean these similar twos make no sense how is almost a lockdown build similar to stephen curry i mean i don't know but but that's what it says so we'll just roll with it but I'm gonna show you guys right now the best badges to throw in this build. Every single badge, finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense. So make sure to stay tuned for that coming up right now. Okay guys, so now we are on the badges. Let's start off with the finishing badges. I recommend go gold contact finisher, in my opinion, the best finishing badge in the game, and then silver fancy footwork. This player can get the long athlete layup package, the best layup package in the game. That's how people get all those crazy, crazy hop steps you see in the park. Fancy Forward helps you get a stun animation when doing a hop step. It is a very, very good badge, and I recommend Gold Contact, obviously, for more contact layups to go in. So this is my badge layout. Obviously, guys, it's all preference. Do whatever you want, but this is going to be what I recommend you put your badges on. So obviously, if you have a different play style, feel free to change them accordingly. Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range, Hall of Fame Hot Zone, the big three badges. And then personally, I would go Silver Green Machine and Silver Tyler Shooter, but I know a lot of people would go Hall of Fame Green Machine, but honestly, I run out of stamina a lot in this game. It is super hard to maintain stamina. So honestly, I'm gonna go with Silver Tireless Shooter and Silver Green Machine, and obviously the big three Hall of Fame badges. But as I said, guys, it's all preference. If you wanna go Hall of Fame Green Machine, you can. If you wanna go Clutch Shooter, you can. Literally anything goes. Pick what badges suit you the most, but I'm gonna go with this layout right here. Now for playmaking, I'm gonna go gold quick first step, gold handles for days, silver unpluckable, and silver bailout. These are some really good playmaking badges, guys. That's really all you need. You get quick first step, handles for days, some unpluckable, and bailout so you can bail out of shots. And bailout, obviously bailout is a great badge, and silver is just fine. So this is the playmaking badge setup I would recommend. And now moving on to defense, probably the most preference there is. I'm gonna go Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Intimidator, Bronze Interceptor, Gold Pick Dodger, Gold Pick Pocket, Hall of Fame Pogo Stick. We have two more upgrades left. I'm gonna put it on Bronze Rim Protector and Bronze Chasing Artist just because we do have a decent block rating and we can get blocks. So those are the defensive badges I will go with. As I said, I love my Pogo Stick. I started using Pogo Stick on guards. I never really used it, but you guys in the comments told me I should put Pogo Stick on and I absolutely love it on my two-way session playmaker. Hall of Fame Pogo Stick helps you so much in the paint. I love that badge now. Intimidator, Clamps, obviously. Some of the most essential defensive badges. Pickpocket, pick dodger, obviously. Get more steals, don't get hit by so many screens. And obviously guys, these are my badges I like to run. You can change them up however you like. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the best speed boosting perimeter lockdown build in NBA 2K20. You get Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame defensive badges. I wanted to make this video because in the 2K community recently, Bronny James has been using this build a ton. Obviously Bronny, LeBron James' son, has been using this build a ton and just destroying people in wagers. And I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what kind of build this is. I'm not sure if this is his exact build, but it's definitely one of the best versions of the perimeter lockdown build in the entire game. This build can do it all, guys. It can speed boost, it can shoot, it can defend. It is truly a very, very well-rounded build, and it can really do anything, as I said. And the good part is you are called a perimeter lockdown. So if people are new to the game, they're not going to know that you have Hall of Fame shooting badges and can ISO them as well. So you can really trick people out with this build, especially with lockdown takeover. And as I said, people that are new to the game will have no idea you can shoot. That is another reason why I picked lockdown takeover. Just another great reason to pick defensive takeovers over offensive takeovers. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, as I said, make sure to drop a like in the video. Same for 25 likes. I like doing these build videos. I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the best badge counts, the best attributes, how to make every build the best for you guys so you can have the best experience on the game. I really hope you like them. I really hope you guys do enjoy these builds. I try to make them the best they possibly can be. And if you want to watch more of these build videos, I'm going to leave an end screen to two of my build videos right when this video ends. You can click them up on the screen. As I said, right when this video is finished, have a great rest of your day. It's been Story of Sam, and I'm out. Peace.